Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Roy at the Clayman Thyroid Center here at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery. Today, I want to talk about a patient that was diagnosed with Graves' disease several years ago. She tried PTU, she tried methimazole, and neither one of those worked. While she was trying these medications, her thyroid grew substantially, so she had a large Graves' goiter in her neck. She also developed Graves' eye disease that was very significant. Her eyes were essentially bulging out of her head. In addition to this, because the goiter was so large, she had significant compressive symptoms. It was causing her difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing, and issues with her voice. So here, if we look at her scan, you can see her large mass in her neck. This is her windpipe pipe being pushed over to one side because this side of the thyroid gland is pushing her windpipe over. If we travel down in the neck, you can see it's actually even compressing the windpipe a little bit and going down into her chest. So I removed her thyroid gland with an operation that was a little bit over an hour. She spent some time in the recovery room and was admitted overnight and she was discharged the next day without any complications at all. And so you can see here, this is a real life picture of her specimen. You can see how large this is on one side of her thyroid gland. And this even itself is not a normal gland. This is also enlarged, but it just shows how enlarged this side is as well. So if you have Graves' disease and you're failing medical management and you can't do radioactive iodine, please consider surgery. It's the best option for you. And you can contact us at thyroidcancer.com.